How long on average do these things take to sculpt? Uh, a month to three months about average. There's a, there's a couple of yeah, exceptions to that rule, like butterfly, mm -hmm. which isn't one of the largest pieces, and it only only has a it has an only has a five foot wingspan, just five feet. I say. Okay. Cool. But it was uh, the, the material I used. We don't have it installed yet. It's in that crate. Do you want to see what it looks like? Yeah, absolutely. I used a butterfly and moth wings. It's not like painted or dyed. Mm -hmm. It's actually individual scales. Did you know that? No. Yeah, it's pretty like fish scales. And, they're in, and then, they're, then they're colored as fish scales are. And that's what creates the pattern we see on their wings. So I wanted to recreate that. I wanted to use some kind of natural material. I started experimenting with plate fungi now. You find this stuff growing on rotted trees. Trees that are dying. Uh -huh. That are dead. As a matter of fact, I collected that, the fruiting bodies and I pressed them like in a giant leaf press. Mm -hmm. And then and then I, I kind of recreated the whole uh, concept of the scale. Wow. Yeah, that's what you want to hear. And this piece is, uh, this was a later piece for me when I, I started out with a certain group of pieces and then I hadn't even thought about doing a ladybug and then I saw a, uh, in the Connecticut River as a matter of fact, at Putney, Vermont, uh, Brattleboro, Vermont, at a raft race. Mm -hmm. Somebody made a giant ladybug raft. And it was like a really crude thing. But you could see just the way, the, what was left of it. Yeah. Was the admin pretty much still floating in, in this little place, but, uh, I thought, wow, that's that's a really good idea. And look how crude it is and everything. And you know right away what it is. It has that, that, that big bulbous abdomen and the spots. So it was like instant. So I said, oh, I really should do one. How tall is yeah, it? Yeah, it's about 18 feet, about 18 feet tall. Wow. With, you know, from the top of the antennae to the to the bottom of the, to the, to the ground. Uh, I don't suppose you've ever put this to scale um, with a normal praying mantis, never? No, I know, and there's not, I should say, there's not one single scale for the show, you know. If, there's... if there was, the ants would have to be, I mean, as compared to the ants, this would have to be 50 or 70 feet tall. So it's not really so much about the physical dimensions as it is the presentation. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, in the early years, it was, you know, when I came up with the first concept, I, I, I thought, well, how big are the ants going to be? I mean, because you have to have a size to build, too. You can't just start assembling an ant. You have to say, well, how big is it? So if it's 20 feet, how big is the head of a 20-foot ant? That's the next thing. Well, that, I didn't realize these things. As I, when I came up with the idea, it was just an idea. When we started building it, like, well, wait a minute, you know, 20-foot ant, how big is the head? I, I have no idea. How do you how do you figure that out? Well, that's the fun. Well, three ants in here. You can't see the third one back there. I mean, there's a place you can see all three, but but I consider the three to be one sculpture. So in that way, it is the largest. But the the, the original idea for the big bugs started with. The first uh, subjects were ants, mantis, dragonfly, spider, and web, and uh, so they're still they're still like really the key to me. The key components. I think they individually they still tell the story of the big bugs. Mm -hmm. uh, it's one of those one of those things where we get to Poetic. tell the story of the difference between insects and arachnids, and also using the word big bugs. Yeah. You know? I mean, it's a big, you know, we, we use the word bugs all the time, you know, things bug us, bother us, uh, anything creepy crawly is a bug. What made you think of the spider? You know, the first pieces were just pieces that it was like, it was like instantaneous to me, what, which ones I wanted to do. Okay, so things that were, you know, synonymous with bug, you know, that just a uh, shot well, to the line. Well, like just, you know, the whole, the whole thing with, I mean, Spiders, the, you know, there's all these different kinds, and they weave these these beautiful structures, and they they live on them, and they capture their prey, and there's all these things to do with spiders that are really cool.